My puppy has a motorcycle. My puppy has a motorcycle. From him, I've learned words like carburetor, rucarino, drill, and dedication. When I hear his gray truck pull into our driveway, I run outside with both of our helmets. My puppy, the carpenter, is covered in sawdust and smells like a hard day at work. His hands are rough from building homes every day. His job since he first arrived in this country. But even though he comes home tired, he always has time for me. When our city is winding down, he takes me for a ride. Today he's going to show me the new house he's working on. Puppy is careful with my ponytail as he pulls my helmet tight. When he lifts me onto the smooth black seat, his hands don't feel rough. They don't feel tired. They feel like all the love he has trouble saying. Lista? Si! Poppy revs the engine and the smell of gasoline hits me as he squeezes the accelerator. The motor rumbles and growls. And then we take off. The shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down, turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become a spectacular celestial thing soaring on asphalt, a comet, the sawdust falling from Poppy's hair, and clothes become a tail following us. Poppy zigzags through the streets. We pass Abuela's church and Tortilleria La Estrala and stop for stray cats crossing the street. Mommy thinks there's too many of them, but I think there's just enough. We pass Joy's Market where Mommy buys my gummy bears. Mr. Garcia, our librarian, is walking out the door and nods at us. We nod back. This is how we always greet each other. We roar past murals that tell our history of citrus groves and immigrants who worked in them and all of the famous road races that took place on the Grand Boulevard a hundred years ago. But as we near the shop, we see that it's empty and out of business. I can tell that Poppy is disappointed. I imagine the smell of sweet syrups Don Rudy used to flavor our shaved ice. I won't be the only one who misses him. As we ride on, I feel and hear everyone, everything we pass by. Each sound landing in my ears rebuilds whole neighborhoods inside me. No matter how far I go from this place or how much it changes, the city walls always be with me. We cruise by Abuelito and Abuelita's old yellow house, the one with the lemon tree that grew from the seeds of the lemons Abuelito used to pick not far from here. Mommy says we're going to visit them tomorrow to cut nopales for the garden and eat Herbie albondigas in Abuelita's kitchen, with the food always taste better. We turn the corner and then... The dogs behind the fences go wild. Frankie, the Lopez's labradoodle, escapes from her yard and runs after us. Mercedes Lopez, the fastest runner in our class, races after her. Then, just as fast, the dog barking and Mercedes and Frankie become a soft hush in the distance. We ride towards the new homes, replacing the last one of the citrus groves. The painters, drywallers, the floor layers, all greet us. 
but we can barely hear the words amid the sounds of hammers and air compression. Even in all the noise, my poppy's voice touches everything. This is my favorite part. On Grand Boulevard, we lean into the curve of the street. I make believe that we're in one of the races that took place here so long ago. It's our last lap, and we have to win. The crowd cheers us on. I feel Poppy's smile as I squeeze my arms tighter around him. We fly around the circle. There's the school where we practice soccer. There's the post office where Miss Charlie takes our letters. And La Pandaria, where Poppy buys conchas on Sunday mornings. Here it is, our beautiful city. My eyes try to catch everything, but the colors of the houses blend into one another. Red, blue, green, orange, pink. We ride, ride until the blue glow from the motorcycle begins to dim and our comet tail has been left behind on the streets we've traveled. We head home and slowly the engine echoes us back into our street and then our driveway, our finish line. Mommy and little brother, hear the motorcycle and run out to greet us. Mommy waves us in, just like a referee. Poppy and I can't stop laughing. We had a good ride. Through our laughter, I hear a familiar sound. I think about my city and the changes it's been through and all of the changes that will come. But I know in our little house, there are things that will always stay the same. Manana, we fly again. Home is a feeling you take with you.